Since 2002, the Metropolitan Water District of Southern California has sponsored Solar Cup, a seven-month program for high school students to work as a team to build and race solar-powered boats. Along the way, students learn about the conservation of natural resources, including water supply and water quality issues, electrical and mechanical engineering, problem solving, and career options. The event began with eight high school teams consisting of about 100 students. Over time, the program has grown to attract more than 40 teams and nearly 1,000 students annually. Today, it is the largest solar boat competition in the nation. Teams are sponsored by Metropolitan's member agencies. Metropolitan is a consortium of 26 member public agencies that provide water to 19 million people residing in six Southern California counties. Funding is provided to teams by sponsoring agencies to purchase materials for their boats. Solar Cup culminates each May at Metropolitan's Lake Skinner Reservoir in the Temecula Valley, located in southwestern Riverside County. The program launches in November with boat building workshops. Newcomer and veteran teams compete in different divisions. Metropolitan provides all teams with tools and identical boat kits made of marine grade plywood. Teams are responsible for equipping the 16-foot-long boats with steering, solar panels, batteries, and motors. Returning teams must build new boats each year, but are allowed to recycle the equipment from previous boats. Boats can be painted or decorated, but the boat's physical design cannot be altered. Some teams even recruit art or design students from their schools to help give the boats an artistic flair. A series of technical workshops begin in January and run through February. They are overseen by a team of technical advisors. Teams receive instruction in the basics of solar energy and mechanical and electrical engineering. Topics include gravity studies and electrical circuitry. Students are required to submit three technical progress reports. They are required to report on specific mechanics of steering and the electrical and solar arrays. All of the technical exercises are geared towards producing a functioning and safe solar-powered boat. To tax their creativity as well as their ingenuity, teams also are required to produce a public service announcement on a water-related topic such as conservation. The format can either be a video, audio piece, or a printed brochure. Students submit a storyboard and outline for approval by Metropolitan before producing final products due in April. Student-produced PSAs have been shown on local news stations, in schools, and at community events in years past. As the time draws near to the culminating event in May, several last-minute assessments take place. Teams comprised of Metropolitan and its technical advisors visit each school to check on their progress and address any remaining issues or problems that could prevent the teams from qualifying for the final event. A technical inspection is held two weeks prior to the final event. All boats are inspected for safety and team skippers are swim tested. When teams arrive at the final event, they bring everything they will need for the three-day weekend. 